Hey, how's it going everyone? Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete rows with blank columns. So if you enjoy Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, SharePoint, Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. And I'll show you my new intro. All right, so we have a SharePoint list here with some blank rows of data. So this column, just has a user, no last name, no job title, no skill. So I assume this this row should be deleted. And again, there's a row down here at the bottom. It just has some missing values. It has no last name. So I'll, I'll assume that a user incorrectly entered in some information here. And this needs to be deleted. So we're just going to go ahead and create a flow to delete these empty rows. And also sometimes if you import data into into a SharePoint list from a Power Automate, there can be blank rows uh, depending on your data source. So like Excel, if a user had some blank rows in it, it will just show up as a blank row here and you wanna remove those. So I'll just show you how to do that. You wanna click on new flow and Power Automate, instant cloud flow, remove blank rows. And for this one, it's gonna be manually trigger a flow. Go ahead and click on create. So the first step is we're going to want to get all the items in that SharePoint list, and that will be the get items action. A site address, we're working in the marketing field. The list, we are working in the employee data list. Everything else should be blank because we want to grab all the rows. But if you do have over, I think it's around, if you have over like 100 rows, you want to turn on pagination and set this to a threshold that's higher than the amount of rows you have. So I only have like eight rows, but I'll turn on pagination to a thousand, just in case this list gets up to, let's say like 600 rows, a thousand's a good number for that. All right, so next we're gonna to wanna to do a condition based on the get items. So get items is gonna grab every item and store it in an array. So we wanna go through that array and look at each We'll use the last name for this example. So if the last name in this row is blank, we want to delete that row. So we're just going to cycle through each of those last names. So in our condition, we're going to get the, the last name and it's going to put it in and apply to each automatically. And that's because it goes through that array and cycles through each of the values looking at each last name. So if this last name is equal to, we'll say null, so null just looks to see if it's a blank value, like no information's there at all. So if that is correct, we wanna delete that row. So if the if yes action, we wanna go ahead and do a delete. Delete item at the bottom here for SharePoint. And the site address is just going to be marketing. Uh, list name is going to be employee data. And the ID is going to be the ID from get items. It's not gonna put this one and apply to each because it is encapsulated in this apply to each up here. So just going over this again. So we wanna manually trigger a flow. We wanna get items. And if the last name, so that is Nate and Bob123. So if those last name fields don't contain any data, we wanna actually, actually delete that whole item. So let's go ahead and test this out. All right, so we're just gonna run the test manually. It's gonna ask me for the connections. So now it's going to go through each of those rows and check to see if it contains some blank data on the last name. So let's go ahead and reload this data. So it looks like those two items were deleted. Let's check on the flow. So the first row was false. Second row was true. So this was Nate. He actually didn't contain any data on the last name. So he was deleted. So let's a, that's how you will delete empty columns. And the reason I made a video about this, it was because on some data imports, you might have empty rows and you don't know where those rows came from. So you want to include lists after you import that data so you can empty get rid of the empty rows all in one flow 
So I highly recommend if you you're importing data and you're running into some blank rows, go ahead and just have it to where the title field most likely will have a blank row. Just put the title field equal to null and that will get rid of all your blank rows. So if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any video ideas, please leave them in the comments because I'll, I'll be making more videos about these topics. I will catch you in the next video.